Hello friends, happy Tuesday. Welcome back into the Golden Tea Lounge. Kevin Lindsay here. It is time to take a look at this week's classic course of the week. This week it is Dusty Bend. Hopefully you've already spent some time yesterday after playing the Monday Mix-Up getting in to Dusty Bend. This is a 2012 course. Uh, it's hard to believe that this course is from that year. Uh, Dusty, probably one of the easier courses from 2012. Um, I feel like a lot of the 2010, 11, and 12 uh, years of Golden Tee are the tough ones that uh, Jim Z, uh, is super creative with the designs, but also just so hard to score um, compared to the last four or five years where you're used to seeing a 27, 8, 29, 30 under 31. Um, but Dusty Ben. This is a course that can be challenging at times, but it's a lot of fun as you get along in progress. There's a lot of uh, creative shots that you need to make on par fours, some of the drivable ones on par fives. So hopefully we can kind of give you some tips here to play this one. The first couple of holes, not too tricky at all, just uh, pretty typical holes one, two, and three. Hole two, you do have to hit a little bit of a shot uh, to avoid the dirt of Dusty Ben. When you get to hole four, we like to call it the Paul Bunyan hole. Um, got this big building that you want to tee it up past. Now, at least with the course that I am in, the 50-man prize play um, for Classic Course Week, this one's not too bad because... I'm just going to go ahead and hit a 10 and a half degree driver right towards that right section of the green. When you get real close to where the, uh, the wall of dirt is, where the driveway is for the building above it, that's where it gets a little tricky, but because you will have some looks that the pin is far down there, just go ahead and, and attack it, so to speak. Hole five. This is another hole that, uh, you know, drove young Kevin Lindsay crazy when I was playing in college because um, if you lay up here on this first section, sometimes you have some trick shots that you need to hit to that, that green there because that water's there, because it's a weird bean-shaped green. With the tees, though, and the position I'm in, I'm just going to go ahead. I want to smash a driver over. Ideally have uh, my five hybrid to go at this, which is exactly what I'm going to get. Now it is an up four with the seven mile hour win, which is why I'm going to hit my five hybrid soft with bite. I'm not going to try to get cute and put backspin on it. I'm happy to take those great shot points. Hole six, 672 yards, but don't freak out. Um, although this is probably one of the longest uh, T spots you can get on this hole, um, it actually is easier because typically you have to worry about getting too close to the sand, rolling in the sand, or getting too close to those bushes. Frankly, because we're so far bit far back, I'm just going to go ahead and crush my shot. It's probably still going to do. Now I need this to roll over just a little bit more to the left. All right, it's probably going to offset me. Now you can bounce it off the top of this little hotel. The uh, wall of dirt back there is friendly, although I don't suggest trying to bounce off of the wall of dirt. And of course, I clipped the little bush there. I thought I had got around it. Uh, that's just one of the things you gotta be careful about because there are times where you'll get a tee spot that puts you right there. Um, you know, if you hit a 300 plus yard drive, it'll put you right there close to those bushes. Wasn't necessarily what I was hoping to do with um, having such a long tee box spot, but that's all right. Hole seven, oddly shaped par three green. You also have this massive, massive green bin and building you don't want to worry about. For me, I'm just going to move my tee. I'm not going to hit anything special. I'm just going to hit my three hybrid. I really want to just get it on the green, which of course early in the morning recording this not gonna happen that's the trouble uh, with this hole is that it's very tough for a par three um, 
sometimes you're not going to have a direct look right at it. So definitely um, the tough spots of the course coming up here. Now we've got this uh, this little diner gas station. Again, uh, another weird shaped green. You don't want to necessarily go right for it. Um, you can. Um, and there's just not a lot of wiggle room because if you hit that green with backspin, it's going in the sand. And if you don't hit it uh, hard enough, you're going in the water. So what I'm going to suggest here, high driver. Um, definitely did not mean to hit that towards. I was trying to lay up on the left, but that's all right. That's exactly how you should play that shot is by bouncing it off of the rough up on the green and using that left four. That's, that's exactly what I was thinking there. All right, hole nine, this par five, this old drive through uh, movie theater. Now, the tough spot here is you cannot go in this. If you try to hit it in there, it's going to go out of bounds. So the 12 mile hour wind blowing to the right is going to help us going to help us up until the fact that I hit that too hard. So you want to very clearly avoid the sand trap. There is an instance where if you get it near the sand trap but not in there, you can actually go under the drive through screen or around it um, because I had screwed up there. We're just going to have to lay up and take our birdie. And this is what I was trying to say earlier. It, it, it's not a hard, hard course compared to the other courses of 2012, um, but there it does have his, its challenges with certain looks, with certain wins and certain pins and tees. Hole 10, this par 4, another one that's very interesting. Uh, thankfully for the contest I'm in, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just do a high T. And we're going to just blow this right past it. This is a par 4, uh, so just be mindful of that as you're trying to plan your second shot. A lot of dirt here. I'm going to just go ahead and play it safe and try to... Uh, cut my six iron. Now I do have the super spin, so again, if you're not using those extremely spinny clubs, you'll have to look at your uh, your spin options a bit differently than the way I play it. Hole 11, this one's a pretty straightforward one. Avoid the sand trap to your left. When you get a pin in the beginning in the front like that, it is pretty easy to uh, just hit backspin and let it roll. Of course, I hit a bad shot. It's all right though. That's what you get with these videos. Sometimes they're great and helpful. The other times it's it's telling you what not to do. All right, hole 12, our design a hole winner. One of the very uh, first ones, abandoned rail yard, the 2011 winner. This one, this look, again, with Classic Course of the Week, you're going to get all kinds of different looks every time you play. I'm just going to high tee a three wood around the trees, right over the water tower, probably a little bit closer than I had was hoping for, getting near that water tower. But still getting the putt in for Eagle. Now, hole 13, this one is an interesting one. So you've got a nine mile hour win in your face. You can high tee this. Now, I'm going to just caution you, though. If you don't use the bird's eye view, you may not notice that extra tall piece of uh, the, the building following it. So you've got to be careful if you're going to try to lay up like that. Um, you can go to the right-hand side here, but you're just going to add more distance uh, when it comes to your approach shot. So what we're going to do... We're going to just go ahead and move our tee a little bit to the right. We put a little bit on there to get it around that building. Now, this is probably one of the tougher par fives on this course, only because your second shot, your approach shot to the green, may be over 300. 
Um, and then of course just be careful and mindful of the second shot you're hitting that you don't do what I did, which is overhit it. Hole 14, another one of those you want to make sure that you're teeing your shot high to avoid those buildings. Because the sand on Dusty Bend is pretty bad if you get stuck in it. Now this one I've always loved, this green for some reason. Right 7. Just for some reason, uh, feel like that may be a GSP factory. It's just right 7 of the green, slope. Then you get to hole 15. This one's a tough one. You can lay up before the bins here on the green. This is probably the hole to do it on because you've got a 15 mile hour wind assisting you. Uh, if you're really crazy, you can funnel it in between or you can go right to left. Now because this wind is so massive, we're gonna go right to left. I'm just going to hit it a little bit extra to the right to make sure that we are uh, playing it safe with that wind because I do not want to get stuck in any more sand or dirt. Only got a couple holes left to go. You can tell this is a tough course because I have not played in a while and the scoreboard keeps bouncing back and forth between uh, some of my good shots and my bad shots. Alright, hole 16, this par 4 doesn't seem like a challenge at first and you may want to just blow your driver high and smash it. The problem is, if I do that in this instance, I'm going to have a much, much shorter approach shot. Now, you, it gets a little tricky if you try to lay up here because you have this big dinosaur to hit over it, but a lot of you have a nine or eight wood, maybe the way to go. I'm just gonna go ahead and do what I know. I'm not gonna crush it, I'm gonna hit it gently. But for those of you that have the, um, plus spin or the super spin, just be mindful as you're going into your next shot here. I really want to hit this with backspin, but I know I shouldn't. See, I and I, I hit that hard because I wanted to, to get cute with it to try to backspin into the cup, and so I ended up in the sand. That's, oh, never mind. I was going to say that's all right. Very clearly it's not. And so that's a perfect example of how you can take a good game, or in my instance, a somewhat good game, and, uh, and throw it off a little bit. All right, now hole 17 is fun because you have this green on the left, and then you have this green on the right that you may get. This one on the right, I think, is more difficult because even though... Um, you can hit an eight wood or so into it. It's a down green. You've got a, a road in front of it that if you bounce, you're gonna lose spin. So this one's also tough because you've got a left 10. Even though this is, has this weird offset, I'm going to actually just take the eight wood. I'm gonna throw it out there. Apparently it's gonna go as far out as it can. It's gonna be a long putt. Good luck. Honestly, taking a par on this course, not a bad, not a bad thing. This is a pretty tough one at times. And then you get to hole 18 where you can shoot it through the motel sign here. You can go right to left, which is what we may do. Uh, if you're really trying to shoot for shot of the week or shot of the year, you can bounce it in and around past the, the ladies bathing at the pool. In this instance, we're just going to have the ten and a half driver. I'm gonna almost do a full shot, which is a very rare shot for me. You got a 17 mile hour wind in your face. I should probably go three wood. You know what? We're gonna go three wood. But I basically want to hit, preferably the fringe, like I did, or the green, because that that down ten is going to help get you a lot of spin, and then you can thankfully end your game with an eagle. So, uh. <laughs> 
an interesting course, if, especially if you have not played it in a long time like me. GoldenTea.com slash locations to find a commercial Golden Tea Live or Golden Tea PGA Tour game that has been updated to 2022 near you. Stay tuned all week long. More Golden Tea action coming, and we'll see you guys again soon.